Ready when you are, CB. Do I start in Canada or Mexico? It's me and Jim. I don't care. You really hate Katie Havis? Disney trips to rest then and all the sin in between. On the MIC, it's the KEY to recall what we see. Like a magic trick can take you back, so over sesame. me. Come with us, we'll take a ride through Epic Memories. That nostalgia, the hits you hard and get you every time. That do you remember? It makes you laugh and sometimes makes you cry. It's the pops, the shows, the shops. Frank and Jen don't stop. Welcome everybody to Jimmo's Pop! Hello! <laughs> <laughs> I don't know if Jen saw my text or I did, so I was like, am I doing <laughs> <laughs> This is the latest edition of Jello. Pop. <laughs> she is Jen. Hello. And I am Frank, and it's another hour of me being in glitchy, glitchy land here. So, much, the... so far, so good. So, so far, so it, it worked in reverse. It was terrible before, and now, and now it's okay so far. Exactly. Did, was it hard to find that Dillow's Pop overlay since I added about 100 pictures? <laughs> it's, just, it's like scrolling, scrolling all the way down. Yes. But uh, thanks for visiting us here on our YouTube channel on a Friday night. It's March Madness is going on. Yeah. Uh, Smackdown is happening. But oh. we are here with you for... 45 minutes to an hour. We'll see how it goes. Who knows? Uh, remember, our podcast, the goal used to be 22 minutes. Never. It's never happened. <laughs> That's right. When we started Theme Park Thursday with Dillow's Diz, we are like, we're just going to be like uh, 1010 Wins, the news radio station here in New York. You give us uh, 22 minutes, we give you 22 minutes, we give you the world, whatever that slogan is. Sure. We give you 22 minutes. You give us no, 22 you... minutes, we'll give no, you the world. No, first of all, it's 10 minutes, isn't it? 1010 Wins? No, it's 22 minutes. On 1010 10 wins? Yeah. No. Yes. We're going to have to. Well, we're going to have to back back back. <laughs> Those of you here in the chat this evening can check out uh, the Google 1010 uh, 10 wins uh, slogan. <laughs> Some, someone in the chat let us know what the 1010 10 wins slogan is. <laughs> you give us 22 minutes, we'll give you the world. Now, I'm not saying it's necessarily 10 minutes. I don't think it's 22. 22 is the sitcom format. I know. It's a little, well, it's both. Everything is 22 <laughs> minutes. That's the perfect amount of time for everything. I don't believe it. Well, <laughs> regardless, uh, we are here with you for Dillo's Pop. After Dillo's Pop tonight, we'll be over at Dillo'sDizResort.com for our uh, hashtag Dillo's Madness during March Madness. That's been going on all month long at DillosDizResort.com. Uh, that's our Patreon. One dollar a month to join. That gets you into our world-famous one-channel Discord. But during hashtag Dillos Madness, you can do the little join for free and uh, be involved in the whole uh, Dillos Madness. We'll, we're still going through all 32 of our stories, and then we'll, uh, we'll take it to bracket land um, yes. with the bracket busters and all the seating that Jen loves. Yeah, I know uh, there may be some confusion out there because, you know, we change things up this year. People aren't used to change from us. They don't, they don't, what? What's happening? Mm -hmm. There have been no brackets released at this time. Correct. So no one has missed out on the bracket portion of mm -hmm. Dillo's Madness. So have no fear. We're still going through. We're telling our stories. We're, we're taking our time with it this year. Yes. We're pacing ourselves. Mainly because when we tried to jump right into it last year, we didn't get to the end of it. So <laughs> we're, we're, slowing going, it down. we're slowing it down and saying, we got time. There's time to do things. All right. Breaking news. Yes. Breaking news. Frank was correct. Yeah. God. Yeah. Yeah. It's the perfect amount of time. I 22 minutes. Them you give us. I don't know. I, I know that you give us. We give you the world. Yeah. <laughs> I was going to make that sound as I said the breaking news, but. 
Uh, speaking of breaking news, you know, yesterday, Jen, was theme park Thursday. We did, uh, well, the brackets could be coming <laughs> mid-May, as Jeffers <laughs> says in the chat, uh, if you're listening to the audio. May madness. We're not, we're not saying that it won't, but. Um, May the 4th be madness. I mean, oh, I like that. I, could, <laughs> I mean, we, we could, we could get there. Uh -huh. Who knows? Yeah. Uh, yesterday was Theme Park Thursday. We did drop a new podcast. We kind of, it was like a little bit of a potpourri, I would say. Yeah. We had some uh, breaking news from when we were doing the recording. We did a Boy Meets World uh, watch along, mm -hmm. which ties into uh, what we're going to talk about here on Dillo's Pop which is uh, our visit to 90s con last weekend yes. and, and the follow-up there. Uh, but uh, that's what happened. But, you know, it's still a theme park Thursday, sometimes on Thursdays here on our YouTube channel or sometimes at DillosDizResort.com. We uh, do a little theme park Thursday live where yeah. we don't get to the news uh, of the week because we have a guest or something like that. We couldn't do theme park Thursday live last night because this week has been madness. Mm-hmm. Um, and lo and behold, Disney drops like news, all the news. And that's all I kept thinking. Every time I saw a new tweet, I saw a new story. I saw Frank tweeting or Xing. What do you call it? I don't know what do you call it nowadays. Uh, well, it is still theme park Thursday and all this news drop. I'm like, of course it's, of course it's happening on a day. We're not doing theme park Thursday live. I mean, that's just the way of it. Disney knows they're like, yeah. they're not going to talk about it on theme park Thursday. So boom, here you go. Here's all the news. Yes. So there were, uh, there was basically on, on Disney parks, there were uh, four, like announcements made regarding the summer too. Like one of the announcements we kind of knew already. Mm -hmm. Another announcement is no surprise really. And then there was two like, oh, what's this? So let me put on my glasses mm. so I can, I, can, oh, I don't can have, the, I'm not going to share the screen. I have it on my phone. I can't see without his glasses. Mm. Okay, so uh, these announced one, uh, you know, they talked about Tiana's uh, Bayou Adventure. Mm -hmm. And I don't know, I, I've been saying Tiana and Tiana, yeah. and I've been saying it different ways, like all month long, and I don't know why. Because the Long Island's coming out in you. It's getting, and I mean, that's part of it is like, I have, you know, it's spring, so it's a little sinusy here on my end. You did uh, two sleepover weekends at my house in the last two months, and now you're talking like a Long Islander. Look what you did. That's all it takes, everyone. Um, so let's see if I, I don't want to like go through this whole thing, but the Bayou Adventure obviously is a summer uh, hit as four new experiences to celebrate summer at Walt Disney World. At Disney Springs, drones take to the skies above Lake Buena Vista. I love when Disney actually acknowledges Lake Buena Vista. This yeah. makes me happy with, quote, Disney dreams that soar. Uh, a summertime experience that will be a late night perk for visitors. You can fly takes on a whole new meaning as we showcase Disney stories, celebrating the joy of flight with state of the art drones choreographed to create designs in the sky and paired with a soaring musical score. Let's see what they did there. That's in parentheses. I didn't say that. Um, <laughs> And memorable movie quotes, Disney dreams that soar will run nightly from May 24th through September 2nd. Jen? Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Um, so are we doing this over Disney Springs because we're afraid of something happening in one of the parks? What's what's this about? Did we learn our lesson from kite tails crashing into the into the bleachers everywhere? What what what's going on? Yeah, it's it like at first I was like, oh, Disney Springs. Are you guys are you guys trying something out so you could bring back the Osborne Christmas lights to Disney Springs? <laughs> Ooh, Come on, a do it! Christmas drone show in the uh, sky, Ooh. featuring Osborne family Christmas lights everywhere. Listen, we um, already announced our meetup for September. We can't have anything else at Christmas. But what if we could? Um, what if we could? So, I, I mean, I I like it, and I like that there's something at Disney Springs, and I and I that's nice. Mm -hmm. What I if I go far into the future, I don't know how far. It could be a year. It could be five years. Who knows? I see then cutbacks. It's going into the park. So now you got to pay to see it. So, you know, mm -hmm, you're not, mm -hmm. you know, I, I, I just see it as one of those things Disney gives you. And it's not, wow, I can just go see this for free? That's amazing. Oh, just kidding. Now you have to come pay to go to the park to see. Oh, okay. But for the time being, let's enjoy it, right? Let's just enjoy it. 
Let's enjoy it. Uh, yeah. So uh, obviously, I feel like this is a test. It's a test. It's a test. There's some kind of test going on. <laughs> so, uh, but I also would be curious to be like what they could and could not permit for, and uh, who can say? Yeah. Yeah. Uh, yeah Saratoga Springs. Um, if you have, if you're a DVC member there or have a resort room, good luck. Yeah. Drawing people away from MK with Tiana's opening, maybe. I mean, I think that's fair that would leave some uh, room for you to ride uh mm -hmm. the bayou adventure at night and let's just say i think yeah. you know when splash mountain opened 100 years ago i think we rode it mostly at night i don't even know when the first time we rode Sp splash mountain during the day was i don't know my eyes are closed most of the time when we're going downhill <laughs> <so I don't. laughs> doesn't matter <laughs> Uh, uh, over at Disney's Hollywood Studios, get into your feels with Joy herself. She's headed to Pixar Plaza starting June 10th, where she joins other Pixar stars. She'll be in her new home just in time for Disney Pixar's Inside Out 2, which premieres in theaters June 14th. <laughs> <laughs> Let me let me do hard hands, which Frank can't do for Frank's favorite movie, Inside Out. <laughs> We're going to do, I just, you know, we just did this Boy Meets World watch along mm -hmm. uh, oh. this week on the podcast. We might have to do an inside out watch along just just to see where I am in life. Just, just to see me cry at the bing bong scene because oh, no. I can't I can't even talk about it without crying. You want to watch that publicly? <laughs> Oh, a brother. Um, Ep Epcotians. Did you know that was the word? Epcotians? Epcot. Ep hip hop. Hi, hi, Regina. Hey, great. Hey, how are you, Regina? Hi. How's it going? It was great to see you last weekend, too. Thanks for being here tonight. Uh, Epcotians everywhere know that the park has been undergoing the largest transformation in its history. I mean, uh, and each new element that we've unveiled has brought us closer and closer to a fully reimagined Epcot. How do you feel about that statement, Jen? I mean, easy, easy with that statement. Remember that gorgeous new fountain and welcoming front entrance, Remy's Ratatouille Adventure, Creation Shops, the lights on Spaceship Earth, Space 220, Connections Cafe and Eatery, Guardians of the Galaxy Cosmic Rewind, Journey of Water, Inspired by Moana, Walt the Dreamer, and wow, when you lay it out like that, they've really done a lot in a couple of years. Interesting. But, but they're like, I don't, why are you getting so defensive, Disney Park Blog? What's <laughs> going feel, on? I feel like we're arguing and I don't want to argue with you. <laughs> well, everyone will be talking about Bruno from June 10th to September 6th because a new summer sing along featuring the beloved songs and story of, you know, you know that movie, Encanto, is in development it. now. Uh, the new limited time show, Celebration Encanto, runs several times throughout the day and will not only invite you and your family to sing along with some of your favorite songs, but you'll also spot Mirabelle and Bruno on the newly opened Communicor Plaza stage. Now, when you say plaza, that means outside, and it's going to be in the summertime. I'm very, very curious about mm -hmm. this show. Mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. I don't, I don't love the outdoor portion of that, but okay. Yeah. But um, obviously, for the kids, we'll stand there and watch it. Lewis is asking about this Boy Meets World watch along. Right. Two things, Lewis. First of all, if you listen to the audio that we dropped yesterday, the second half of the podcast is that watch along. We're expecting that the video portion will be uploaded uh, as soon as my phone wants to do the memory thing, um, sometime I'm hoping tomorrow, Saturday, that the uh, we'll have the video portion of the Boy Meets World watch along uh, when they were in Disney, the happiest show on earth, uh, season three, episode twenty one. Yes, uh, for those of you at Dillis's Resort, you may recall in the beginning of the week, I was like, hey guys, we are trying to figure out all the recordings we want to do for this week. It's Friday, we're doing two of the three we wanted to do this week, and they're happening tonight. Um, the one that we, so we recorded at Theme Park Thursday on Tuesday morning, and we weren't even sure if that one was going to happen or not. <laughs> so we were mm -hmm, like, mm -hmm. you good? You good? Let's go. We just got to record. So we kind of crowbarred that recording in there. But yeah, we'll be releasing that uh, video as well. So you didn't miss anything unless you missed the audio. So you could check that out. But you didn't miss the video yet. Lewis is distraught that uh, they were, uh, the resort <laughs> guests were not invited. To there was no yeah, time. I'm already we... explaining myself, Lewis. I was already explaining. You were probably we... typing that as I was explaining. <laughs> yeah, we could not uh, guarantee 
a, a timely recording. Yeah. So we did. We could not announce it because it, it was very, very, very tight. Yeah. And for some reason in this Disney Parks blog, as we're uh, 15 minutes in and not talking about 90s con yet, um, <laughs> that uh, it's interesting that the final story here is about uh, Disney's Animal Kingdom. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. Uh, that's right. Get ready to roar at Disney's Animal Kingdom theme park, where the celebration for the 30th anniversary of The Lion King will prowl the entire park from June 10th through September 6th. 30 years since the Lion King. Um, but even better than wallpaper, there is a whole new merchandise collection so you can see the iconic Disney's Animal Kingdom stage show and pass holder lounge slash Monday morning monorail favorite Festival of the Lion King in style. Uh, ready to rustle up some grubs? This will be uh, there will be a special menu items to snack on, uh, and uh, Pumbaa's ribs. No, that's not true. And this adorable <laughs> Pumbaa popcorn bucket to add to your pride. Ooh, a, a Pumbaa uh, popcorn bucket. Yeah. But I've been sitting on that uh, Ernie Sabella cameo for months. Yeah. And as it gets closer to the time uh, for the Lion King 30th, we'll have to uh, show everyone the full uh, yes. Ernie Sabella cameo that we've had we've dropped the audio in the past but not uh the video yeah so uh some uh there's a lot of lion king stuff coming to the animal kingdom uh there's secret construction sites uh and then trailers being loaded in behind the animal kingdom something's coming something <laughs> we don't know what it is but uh that was all announced on theme park thursday yes not on, not on the episode. Of not Game on Park the episode. Like, on the day. Yes. Why don't you let us drop this news, Disney? Just send it all. Just email us, and we'll where's, jump where's on. Where's the press release ahead of time? And stop. We'll start recording. Just stop it and give us the news directly for Theme Park Thursday. Seriously, enough, enough now. So here we are. Uh, it is a Friday night, as I mentioned. A la one week ago, we were planning our uh, travels to 90s con yes. uh, we were there all day last saturday on the 16th of march uh where where do you want to begin jen talking about the 90s con i mean i think we could say it was the uh, third annual we think mm -hmm. at in connecticut it right. was there the connecticut version uh the third annual and it was also our third annual we have now gone the past three years mm -hmm. um and uh you know we're we're always, I think, learning more, thinking about more, uh, assessing more. We're doing all the things as we uh, go. But, you know, I think the day had some surprises along the way. I think we got a lot done. I felt walking away from it. I felt very whirlwind-esque. Whirlwind um, so, yeah, I mean, I think we should just start at the very beginning. So, you know, year one, when they announced the all new Mickey Mouse Club for 90s con, we were like, we're going to 90s con. Yes. It wasn't even a question. Yeah. Year two, uh, you know, we were, we said, let's see what happens, what we could do. And they, boom, Beverly Hills 90210, which if you'd never listened to us ever or never watched us before, yeah. like we make enough 90210 references here. Yeah. To, <laughs> might as well be a 90210 podcast sometimes. Yeah. Uh, so then we, we went for that. So to that, I would say with the year three, we had to tie up some loose ends. Yeah. Um, and, and two, like one of the, I said two of the, and then one of the, uh, one of the big announcements that came out early on was that uh, four Disney princess voices would be appearing. And we we're like, well, now we're going because mm -hmm. we got to tie in the whole Disney element here. Mm -hmm. You know, when all is said and done, as happens uh, with, I think, all cons. So I'm not going to just say it for 90s con. Yeah. Uh, you, know, uh, you know, they're working they're working performers. So yes. it, it comes and goes sometimes if they pick up some work. And so we, there was two Disney princesses mm -hmm. that were performing at 90s con. Uh, so I, do you want to start there or do you want to talk about what we booked because the, the two Disney princesses, we, we didn't. Well, we might as well start. You, you've kicked it off with Disney princesses. Let's keep yeah. it going. Let's so, just go with that. Yeah. Uh, you know, I think of all the Disney princess voices, I think, you know, name name the Disney princess voices you can recognize. I think most people would say, oh, uh, Jody Benson is Ariel. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, and so that is immediately what you go to. So uh, the fact that she was going to be at 90s Con, we were like, if we don't book an individual photo op, will it be hard to get mm -hmm. to her? 
And, uh, you know, so that was something we were gauging all day. We, we opted because we were buying other individual photo opportunities. Mm -hmm. And to say, if you don't know what we're talking about, you can go walk up and wait in line and and hopefully it, you don't wait for too long to do a meet and greet or a selfie or an autograph. Mm -hmm. You could do that option or you probably can save some time, pay a couple of bucks more and do an individual photo op at a specific time of day. Mm -hmm. So for Jody Benson, we were like, let's roll the dice because we mm -hmm. wanted to specifically book some things. Mm -hmm. Let's roll the dice and see if we could uh, see Jody Benson. So I'm going to pass it to Jen and how, how that all came to be. Yeah. So when, when we walked into 90s Con, uh, you know, they, the, the way the layout is, you kind of go a little bit to the right to go towards where all the actors and actresses and singers and everybody will be. And then to the left are the vendors. Um, so we started going to the right. And each year it has been very interesting as to who is at those first two spots. <laughs> right. I think year one, it was uh, Nick Carter mm -hmm. and probably another Backstreet Boy. I don't yeah. know. Um, and then last year it was Oh no, I'm forgetting who was there last year. I know that Ian Ziering was close to it, so I don't know. Yeah. I mean, it, 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 let's just say, you know, who they think is going to get the most traffic. They kind of put right. They kind of, yeah. yeah. So this year it was Jody Benson, first mm -hmm. one, mm -hmm. and then we had Linda, Linda Larkin, Larkin. Mm -hmm. the second one. So we're like, oh, they're right here. Oh my goodness, Jody Benson already the line. Just crazy. <laughs> mm -hmm. And also uh, last year, I don't think they had the VIP pass first year, right? I, I think that was yeah, the last year thing. Maybe they did, but not to the not availability. To the yeah. Or as we like to call it when we're there, the lightning lane. Oh, so, good, oh one, good one, yes. Regina. Uh, that Save by the Bell was, you are correct. Now yes, that you say that's that. right. Yeah, I think it went Save by the Bell 902 and 0. I yeah. think that's how the line went there. Right. Yeah. Um. So we were like, we wanted to see the Boy Meets World panel at 11 a.m. Mm -hmm. So we were like, you know what? Linda's line, our friend Linda, you know, we can use first names because <laughs> we're all besties here. Um, so Linda's line was a little more manageable. We're like, let's see if we can get a picture with her. We might as well. We're right here until we have to go to the panel. Um, however, the lightning lane for Linda, <laughs> lane Linda uh, was filling up. And so every once in a while, we're like, oh, okay, it's going pretty Oh, three people just got on lightning lane. So we're not, I don't know. And we're watching the clock and we're like, all right, I think we're calling it. We're going to go up to the panel. We'll come back later and see how that goes. Now in the past, that typically doesn't go well for us <laughs> because <laughs> we had tried that with Danielle Fischel one year, or at least I did three times. I got on that line. Mm -hmm. uh, Alicia last year, we tried three times as well, I think. So you know, there, there's some rolling of the dice if you choose yeah. to walk away, but we did it. And you might be um, saying, Jen and Frank, it's your third year. Why aren't you doing the VIP pass? And I'll tell you, because we think about it too late and they're already sold out. Yeah. Yeah. Always. <laughs> always. And and we go, should we? I don't know. Who's going to be there? So just what are we doing? Are we indecisive? I don't know. No, that's not us. We I, love brand. to plan things properly. Mm -hmm. Anywho, um. We'll talk about the Boy Meets World panel, but we came after that, we came back down and went right back to Linda's line. And we're like, we have time before we have any photo ops scheduled or anything like that. Let's wait on the line. And it paid off because she was the first photo we were able to get at 90s Con. And I mean, if you're kicking it off with the voice of Jasmine, mm -hmm, I, mm -hmm. you know, that, that's a good day right there. So um, I think we have the photo possibly maybe Do you i don't know i'm scrolling i'm scrolling oh, you're scrolling i know i uh my phone doesn't like to share the screen uh this one uh this one yep hey uh, um, that way Aha. Share, <laughs> share the screen on Streamyard. so i loaded up the Streamyard with overlays of all the photos but here we are Obviously, she had the ring light. Um, I'm kind of appreciating how many people have the ring lights because yes. those pictures sure do come out a little bit better. <laughs> like, oh, I mean, okay. <laughs> yeah, I feel like after the first year it was a quick lesson because yep. uh, Leah Thompson that first year had the ring light. Right. And yes. I, I feel like those pictures are awesome. And I'm not just saying that because I'm in a picture with Leah Thompson. <laughs> 
are you? Um, but to say, uh, we felt like there were way more kids this year overall at mm -hmm. 90s Con than we had seen in the past. And I do believe a big part of that was that Disney princesses were present. So I, there were a lot more lounge flies walking around, not just mine. There were others this year and uh, little girls dressed up and, and uh, adults dressed up in princess costumes. So princess power was there this year for sure um but yeah so that's how we kicked off 90s con picture wise uh jeffers is in the chat uh asking uh who's bringing the ring light to our meetup in september in walt <laughs> disney world uh, well we'll have to we'll yeah. see i i mean you know jen and i fly blue basic so <laughs> i don't know if we have room for a ring light remember steffers got me that clip on mickey one that can oh, go yeah. right on your phone that's right steffers for the win Where is that yeah i have to find it um kids what do they know about the 90s listen um my kids were <laughs> so upset this year not to be at 90s con and i was like oh great are the is the price of 90s con about to go up because now i gotta bring the kids from now on yeah. um yeah they were really wanting to go this year so i think we were saying um after the fact like not only the disney princesses but i think shows like fuller house kind of introduce those characters to kids and maybe they went back to watch full house same with girl meets world for boy meets world and there's ways that these kids are being brought in to all these nostalgic shows that their parents loved and you you kind of see that in the turnout that you know a lot of kids were asking questions at the panels and i just mm -hmm. feel like we saw more walking around overall Way more, and definitely with the full house panel later in the afternoon, yes. the, the amount of kids that asked question, which was great. I, you know, I, yeah. I think great for them. You know, uh, a lot of our our theme this year at Nineties Con was tying up those loose ends that we didn't get to the first two years. And I think you know the cast of Full House, who, however many of them are there at these cons, mm -hmm. you know, is still kind of on that loose end list for us. We haven't done mm -hmm. any photo ops with any of the cast yet. Um, and it was just Jody Sweeten and Dave Coulier this year, but their panel was still great. And I think it was great oh, yeah. in part because the kids were asking questions. Yes, for sure. Um, a extra, you know, life. Regina is mentioning that the kids pass is much cheaper. So it makes sense. It's mm -hmm. good to know. I have mm -hmm. to take note of that. Thank you. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Jen is doomed. This is what I do for bringing my kids into the nostalgia. <laughs> um <laughs> So uh, we can we can kind of bookend things with princesses if we so we can continue with and, and round out to the princess stories. Mm -hmm. Jody Benson, we just kept watching her line. I, I mean, every time we pass it, it was filled to the max plus the lightning lane. And we we're like, we'll just keep watching that all day. We'll see. We'll see. Maybe we end up buying the photo op. We don't know. We'll play mm -hmm. it out. And after the full house right. panel. Mm -hmm. I think, which was at like three or it was either three four or four-ish. Yeah. Yeah. We came down and there were like two people in front of Jody. And we were like, oh man, they just closed the line. She's done. She's probably because she was also performing at the after party that night. We're mm -hmm. like, she there, she's probably starting to slow it down at this point. And so one of the volunteers of the event was there. And we were like, oh, is she done? They're like, no, come on. And we're that like, really what? went like this. Hi, excuse me. Hi, yeah. hi. Hi, excuse me. Is she okay? Is she all done? It's okay if she is. It's okay. I don't, I'm I'm not mad. I'm not gonna not um, but yeah, she was like, No, yeah, come on, come on up. We're like, what? Oh my god, okay, uh, okay, we didn't expect this. All right. Um, and we were able to see Jody Benson and get a picture with her, which was lovely. I'll find that photo here. In, There's a walk-up, that's uh, what they call it, like a walk-up. Yes. Yeah, exactly. We went right to the front of the line. Uh, where? Uh, there it is. Okay. It's yes. another one of the uh, portrait photos. There we are. Jody Benson. Also, the ring light. She also had the people doing it from up here. She knows the angles. She knows those <laughs> angles. All, every single person up here taking those mm -hmm. photos. So excellent. Mm -hmm. um, but yeah, so it's like uh, at the end of the day, we got a picture with the voice of Ariel and the voice of Jen. What? What is that world? I <laughs> don't even know. That was the I mean, princess yeah. portion. And I think originally um, Paige O'Hara was supposed to be there. And, uh, oh, gosh, it's going to escape me who is the voice of Meg. It is Judy, Judy 
Kuhn, Judy, is that right? Oh, um, but Put in the chat. so still on my list because both both of those voices, um, I really I always like their voiceover work in those films. So that yeah. would be exciting. Yeah. Um, so I uh, was sit there and uh, I mean, I think the the one thing we can um, since you brought it up is the Boy Meets World panel, because mm -hmm. I think the overall again in these three years, Jen is a huge Boy Meets World fan. I, you know, in passing, probably when Jen was watching reruns back in the day, or you know, I I appreciate the show, but it was as I said on the podcast this week, uh, it was always a little nostalgic for me because I was already out of high school when it started. Mm -hmm. yeah. uh, but the, but for me, I'll talk about me first. Uh, <laughs> you know, one of the stories for me here in the last three years is really watching. Uh, their the cast popularity like soar in mm -hmm. some ways because the podcast that they do Pod Meets World did that start right after the first nineties con or right around yeah. the time it was right after ish mm -hmm. like they were kind of hinting at it I feel like and then but it started pretty much right after and I, I, just, I mean and maybe Regina can chime in but to me yeah. and we talked about this I feel like their popularity like just a crowd there to see them has mm -hmm. tripled oh yeah since yes. the first since the first one two years ago yes. in 2022 i couldn't get over uh the, the the crowd for the panel discussion i think was similar you know yeah the years. yeah mm -hmm. but for that early in the morning i felt it was pretty large yes uh, but the lines for them at the at the booth it was crazy all day like jen almost got to see danielle official three times that first year you you couldn't uh, if you made that choice this year to try to just wait in line no, no. way no no and and also in that year uh in in the row she was in of the convention center the mmc was on the other side so their sections of their lines were also shorter where now they had almost like this whole huge mm -hmm. space. But what was funny is, you know, we kept doing loops and I felt for them because they had the 11 o'clock panel and then they went into like the group photos, the duos, the trios, the singles of all the mm -hmm. professional photo ops. And so I'm like, I don't even know if they've been at their tables today. So right. a lot of the times when we would walk by, it was mostly empty. And then at some point we walk by and I, we just see this crowd and I go, well, there's Danielle's line. Look how crazy that is already. No one's even there. I don't even know when they're coming back. We just heard her name being announced. So like she's doing the other photos. Look at this line. And we get closer and it's <laughs> the, it's the line for Bill Daniels, AKA Mr. Feeney. And it was just a crowd sitting, mm. just waiting to rope drop the photo <laughs> and, and the, the meet and greet with Mr. Feeney. I was like, Oh, there was no one even waiting for anyone else at that point. <laughs> just mm -hmm. him. Just, it was crazy. Yeah, because this is the first one he's been at. Is he? He's ninety six or ninety seven years yeah, old. He's about to be ninety seven, I think. And I mean, the everyone, every single Boy Meets World fan there on Saturday was in that line. Yes. Jen was smart and bought the professional photo op. I did. Yeah, we we did that last second, and I was like, I will regret if I leave that con and we don't have a photo with him. Um, yeah. Just going back to the podcast, it looks like the first episode was June 2022. So yeah, just a few months after we saw them in um, at the first 90s con. Uh, Regina had the VIP to Will. Love that mm -hmm. that you got to see him. Um, so, so yeah, why don't you bring ahead. up the the photo of Feeney first and uh, of, of, Daniels, of William Daniels? And I mean for for Lewis because you know I know I know Lewis is gonna do the references here. So yeah, we got you know, the voice of uh, Kit on Knight Rider. Mm -hmm. You know, you got Saint Elsewhere. I mean, as much as as he's an icon of the '90s. Uh, his voice and I mean he's almost an icon of the 80s and the 90s mm -hmm. yes and uh so this was uh yeah this this was one of my better photos today <laughs> we'll talk about that later <laughs> breaking, <laughs> breaking the professional photos had the yips all day on these professional <laughs> photo ops <laughs> I knew um, Louis would be there for kit I knew it yeah <laughs> Um, and one we had booked pretty early on, uh, was a photo because they had a lot of the cast. It was basically the entire cast 
minus a couple, minus the boy. <laughs> but also minus the boy. Um, and then like, you know, a couple of others were missing, but it was a huge cast. And so you could have uh, one of those photos with the entire cast. And we were like, oh, I don't know if we can swing that. <laughs> so who else can we get? So we did um, get the pod meets world. Mm -hmm. uh, photo here. <laughs> My smile looks great in that picture. <laughs> Again, things to be discussed later. Yeah. Um, That's a story for the resort. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Yes, resort guests will hear more about Frank's yips during these photo <laughs> ops. Um, but we have Will and Danielle and Ryder. Again, I can use first names as they are all friends in mm -hmm. my head. So that's that. Um, yeah. And then the two we didn't really expect, I guess, mm -hmm. but thought about. Right. Um, I personally thought about them because, again, the kids were like, are you going to see this person? You're going to see this person? And one of the people uh, that they were saying was Betsy Randall, who was the mom on Boy mm -hmm. Meets World. And they're like, are you going to, are you going to like meet her? I was like, oh, I don't know if I'm going to meet her, but she'll be there. And they're like, <gasps> and they couldn't even believe it. So I told Betsy Randall that story when we went to meet her because um, her and William Russ, here we go, uh, they both had where it was pretty quiet at their tables mm -hmm. when we got to them, which was nice. So we were able to do a little meet and greet with both of them. But um, that was like it, it's what's also crazy. And I'll, I'll just say this quickly is because I've been rambling a lot um, is that, you know, you see Bill Daniels there, almost 97. It's like, oh, my God, how is he at this con right now? Like, this is a very long, this is a long day for us. Um, this is a very long day for all of yeah. them, everybody who is there and signing the autographs and taking the photos and all the things and doing the panels. So we were super impressed. Um, you know, it's it's kind of a throwback to our great uncle who would totally have done the same thing at 97. <laughs> <laughs> that, that would be him too. Um, but then you see like, um, you know, Betsy and Rusty. I'll call him Rusty because, again, we're friends and this is what people call him when they're mm -hmm. his friend. Mm -hmm. um, they were 90 sitcom parents. That's yes. huge. Um, but they're also, when you think about it, like, oh, you're like our parents age. <laughs> so this is also probably like, this is a long day for everybody. Mm -hmm. But it's awesome. But it, it was very cool to be with 90 sitcom parents. Yeah. But then you had a little moment with Rusty yourself. <laughs> yeah. I uh, Did you get my reference or did you not know my reference? Have you ever, uh, not you ever in that moment. I had a like, yeah. process. Yeah. yeah. So uh, William Russ, uh, back in back in the <laughs> late 80s, early 90s, there was a television show on CBS called Wise Guy. Mm -hmm. uh, and it was uh, everyone thought that Ken Wall was going to be a huge star. And, uh, you know, it, it, sometimes it doesn't go that way. And it's, it's basically the show that launched uh, Kevin Spacey, which we, we won't say anything more about that. But, uh, you know, and would have these small kind of six to eight episode arcs. And uh, William Russ played uh, Roger Lococo on that show, who's kind of like a smart alecky kind of character. Mm -hmm. And uh, I think if I remember correctly, and I didn't want to be too much of a geek who remembers this from 30 something years ago um in the moment i, I was just hope, i was glad that he acknowledged that i acknowledged uh, roger lococo to him mm -hmm. and uh i think when ken wall took a sabbatical from the show that it was it was william ross who's kind of stepped up into that main role in mm -hmm. the next story arc um because his character was was popular yeah. as popular as as things were without the internet around <laughs> mm -hmm. yeah yeah. So. yeah and i felt like and he was like oh yeah that was a fun show i felt like the two of them had we come pre better prepared mm -hmm. like we probably could have like chatted with them but you know like right. yeah, it, in my first year of 90s con we got to like chat a little more with certain people and i feel like they could have been that but i wasn't prepared enough right. <laughs> to like, come into that yeah yeah Hundred percent. And then going when I went and watched uh, the Happiest Show on Earth prior to recording the podcast this week, uh, you know, and just seeing them play the parent roles, I was like, oh yeah, this is classic nineties yeah. parents. I mean, oh, yeah, so cool. yeah. Sure. Um, Regina is also mentioning that William Daniels is doing some other cons in the next few months. Good for him. Yeah, and I think Sunday night Pod Meets World, the podcast, has been doing 
live shows around the country and they've been doing it for the last year or so or maybe more i don't even know um and so they've been going around to different cities and since they were in connecticut with pretty much everybody i think i i'm pretty sure he was at that as well on sunday night they all went and did the live show mm -hmm. like the con ends on five o'clock on friday on sunday yeah and then they went yeah. right over to the live show which i think was at like seven o'clock yeah yeah it's crazy. Got some marathoning they're doing which... Ooh, yeah I'm tired. I mean, I'm sure it's, it's I, I'm sure it's great, but it's a lot. <laughs> yeah. Yeah. It's a lot for sure. Uh, so I would, if you had to, if we had to really state this, but um, there were three first time big movie stars, big, big movie yes. stars. Uh, I don't want to discount some others, but yeah. uh, and then, and then I will say just tangentially, Alyssa Milano was, was the newest addition on the TV side of things. I think people were like, whoa, yeah. Alyssa Milano. Mm -hmm. Um, but Gina Davis and Susan Sarandon mm -hmm. were, were doing all sorts of ops all day. And I'm just going to leave it at that and not yeah. say too much more. Check out social media for more information. <laughs> <laughs> but the one that uh, Jen and I responded to instantaneously was Marissa Tomei. Mm -hmm. And, you know, for Jen, it is uh, only you. It <laughs> is uh, Untamed Heart. Yeah. It is. Uh, what else you got there? My you cousin know, Vinny, of course. Me, you know. Uh, um, you know. I, I think I thought she was hilarious in uh, Mel Gibson's What Women Want. Oh like, yeah, it was, yeah. Well, it was really funny in that. Um, but you know, for me, uh, uh, <laughs> the, I think the big thing is I, I talk about Oscar all the time, and oh, I yeah. kind of do mm -hmm. a movie watch yes, of that yes. at the resort. But she's the daughter. She's the uh, the Inamorati as it were, in Commedia dell'arte terms. What's Frank talking about with this MFA <laughs> dramaturgy? The Commedia dell'arte. Uh, but Marissa Tomei is great in that because she had come from a different world and went into that. And then, like, all of a sudden, like, two years later, she was winning an Oscar for My Cousin Vinny. And what did I just say? Did I say Vinny? It didn't yes. Sound good. But, uh, <laughs> you know, so many great roles um, over the years that uh, we were like, we got to, we got to, we got to see Marissa Tomei. Yeah. Uh, <laughs> I, I just loved her laid back nature. I think I'll do, you know, super laid back and chill. Um, these, the, for those who don't know these, when you see the background like that, those photo ops are the, as, as Frank mentioned before, you pay a few more bucks. It's more than a few, um, <laughs> to guarantee those photos and they are crazy quick. Mm -hmm. Um, and some like you saw the pod meets world. We're all linking arms. We're all, yeah, like this is great. Some are more, don't touch anybody. <laughs> <laughs> no touching, no handshakes, no hugs. No, we're like, okay. And well, and just to say the first year, right? It was like yeah. specific, like no kissing. I mean, now granted, we were, we were you know. Did they say that on the first year? Place. I don't even remember that. Yeah, there was no kissing. And I was like, who's kissing? Who's <laughs> kissing? <laughs> but, <laughs> but that first year we had Christopher Lloyd. Now we're right. in 2022. Mm -hmm. Where this is still a big event coming out of the da, 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 da. I remember he had an air purifier and there mm -hmm. was hand sanitizer and there are all the things happening. Some people were still wearing masks. They had plexiglass mm -hmm. or something. All the things were happening. So at this stage, you know, you're not seeing that as often. Now, Bill Daniels was one of those no handshakes. And we're like, <laughs> of course, we're just yeah. like standing near him. Like, that's totally fine. Whatever. So but Marissa was one of those no handshakes, no hugs. Um, no touching. And we're yeah. like, oh, okay. Now, I do think that might play into Frank's yips a little bit with some of these photo ops because <laughs> what do we do? We always feel awkward in these We're pictures. already awkward. We're awkward. already awkward people. You've seen our pictures together. You know we can't take a photo together. We don't even know what to do with ourselves. <laughs> so, like, to take a picture when we're like, uh, we'll do this and whatever. Um, so, yeah. So, when you see the different photos and us in different pictures with various people, there are different rules for different celebs, which we yeah. abide by. And <laughs> rule followers. Yes. Uh, Dr. Val is asking, is there a person that tells you the rules or is it written out? I I think there are rules written out when you purchase. I'm sure there's the fine yeah. print. Because you can't it. bring your own phone in. You can't do certain things yeah. to those Great. photo ops. It's like just this camera that's yes. taking your photo. Yes. But to say... You know, I don't fault the announcements when they come and people are yeah. like very specific when they're like, don't do this, don't do mm -hmm. that. Just because you don't know if someone already 
failed yeah. <laughs> and did something yeah. they shouldn't have. I'm so sure. then they ruined it for the rest like, of the class. Like, so do I think like, you know, I'm not saying all the time, but I'm saying, do I think sometimes someone did something they weren't supposed to? And then, yeah. then, you know, it, oh, the sure. rules came out a little stronger by the time Jen and I got there. Eh, maybe. Yes. Yes. So, uh, yeah, but it, it just, it did seem a little more. And again, uh, it not being 2022, where we're two years closer to 2020, mm -hmm. being now, I yeah, I think everyone's a little more friendlier. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Well, and that was it. Um, and Val to also piggyback on that is, uh, there was someone. Now we kind of had the same volunteer for, for a good mm -hmm. chunk of our photos. Yeah, we were right. in like the same little cube. Yeah. Um, for a few different ones. So I don't know if this was just something she was saying, but like with Pod Meets World, we were pretty uh early on that line whatever you want to say like towards the front of the line i guess mm -hmm. and the first couple of people went in there and they were hugging and i was like i turned to frank and i was like do we get to hug them oh my god mm -hmm. and i was so excited and then like two rounds of people did that and then the people in front of us you could see the girl was also excited and then she was like uh no handshakes no hugs and she was like no no hugs. <laughs> she was so <laughs> disappointed. And I was like, oh, man, we just missed the cutoff. Oh, yeah. man. <laughs> and again, not faulting any of it. And not, yeah. yeah, even in that case, it just might have been too much excitement. And they were like, hey, we got to scale it back. Yeah. You know, but we we are at our interactions with all three of them, even without the hugs, yeah. was lovely. Yes. They yeah. know what they know how it goes. And yeah. and and we all were in, in embracements. You yes. know, we're all we're all here. You know, it's no, it was no Jason Priestley acting like Brandon Walsh shaking our hands. I mean, that, that, yeah. that's it. That's the bar. <laughs> <laughs> I, I mean, and I also think when you start shaking hands or hugs or whatever, it slows down the process. Yeah, and this also. process is like, get them in, get them out, get the picture, get that. Like, that's mm -hmm. it. It's very quick. Um, so I know that like slows things down, but yeah, it was very nice. I told them I was giving them like a like a virtual hug. Yeah. I don't think virtual was a word I should have used. Oh, no, I said air hug. Oh, I did say air hug because we're not virtual. Right. Um, so I said air hug. And then, um, but like I made eye contact with each one of them. And I was like, mm -hmm. yes, this is my moment. This is my moment. This is my moment. <laughs> like, which is what I at least try to do with all of them in those situations of like, thank you. You know, like a hi or a thank you to each of them. But listen, uh, Danielle Fischel apologized for putting her hand up my shirt, but we'll get to that over at the resort. Right. We'll talk about that over at the resort. <laughs> uh, <laughs> that's just a little tease for the Dillos Diz Resort .com, folks. Yeah. Oh, I love that. Regina said, I always let the celeb initiate. Will even asked if he could hug me, which was nice, but this was at the table. Yeah. yeah. And I do think at the table, things have been different. We've, we've yeah. hugged, uh, I think all the MMC people, we like hugged all of them at the tables and, mm -hmm. you know, did a whole thing, but yeah, it's, it's interesting. Uh, so then, uh, you know, that was our afternoon. Uh, what am I missing something before we, we I talk about the last thing? I feel like there's something I'm missing in between or did what, we, what's I our last thing? Um, oh, the final, the final, the final big photo, photo, up? The final photo. Yeah. But we, um, but we were at the fuller house yeah. panel discussion and that was nice, but Jen is here to go. Oh, um, uh, sorry, uh, I don't have I don't have that final photo up in oh. the shared thing. So we can, if you want to talk about this, because we saw the Dawson's Creek panel, oh, yeah. we saw the Full House panel, we saw the Boy Meets World panel. So we got, I, I think the Full House one and the Dawson's Creek, we kind of missed a few minutes of each of those, but overall we saw them. Yeah, I mean, uh, James Vanderbeek was there. Uh... And uh, so they had the Dawson's Creek panel at three, which was, you know, I guess someday I should go back. You know, we're talking about shows that will never binge. Uh, Mrs. Dillo and I last night were talking about Grey's Anatomy. I was like, this is a show I will never binge because I cannot, I'm not going to get through 400 episodes. <laughs> I'm not going to do it. Yeah. Uh, I, I know you and, and Angela Dahlgren started. And, we got through know. about four. And, <laughs> <laughs> and, and you know, that's a, it's a monumental task right mm -hmm. there. Uh, but we started binging last night. I will just say separately, tangentially, uh, uh, only murders in the building on Hulu. Yeah. Oh, Hulu yes. And yes. Lena Gomez and Martin Short. Already, I'm, I'm hooked. Yeah. So I'm like, I don't know why I waited so long to watch the show. But um, 
with with Grey's. It's like no, but uh, other shows that I should binge someday. I like I should just go and watch all the Dawson's Creeks. Yeah, because I didn't, and I I mean I think my roommate did back in the nineties, but uh, I, can, I I would put money on it. <laughs> but yeah, I mean, you know, based on based on uh, us watching nine hundred two one zero all the time together, um, and say by the way. <laughs> and say by the way, both. Me. <laughs> <laughs> but yeah, it was not a show. That I think work schedule or whatever it was that it yeah. was not a show I watched uh, during its heyday. So, but I feel like it's it's something I probably would enjoy and go through rather quickly. Yeah. Uh, but so hearing the stories that was cool, and I, like I said, with the full full house uh, panel, uh, it was. It, it was cool for two things, right? Because sometimes you get big casts, and so you only get to hear a couple of things from mm-hmm. each. So because it was Jody Sweeten and Dave Coulier, one is, and uh, we could talk about this briefly. It was fun to watch them play off of each other, but yes. uh, uh, the theme I feel like uh, that came up was uh, this idea that I I never really thought about DJ being Danny and Stephanie being. Joey and Kimmy Gil or Kimmy Gibbler, I guess, being Joey mm-hmm. and and Stephanie being Jesse. Uh, Jesse mm-hmm. never crossed my mind ever. Yeah, so, I they, think they were leaning into that a lot. Oh yeah, they were like, uh, yeah, absolutely. Um, whereas I think I probably thought about it for DJ just mm-hmm. because of the setup. Like right. you know, she was there. She had the three kids. Oh, okay, you're Danny, but I don't think I ever really made the connection other than oh now they're all gonna live together sure like right. you know but I, I don't think i pinpointed like you belong to this one you're this one but it kind of makes sense <laughs> it, it like totally makes sense and i yeah. was like oh now that you say this no i'm gonna I, I watched the first season of fuller house i think and then mm-hmm. i stopped yeah but now i'm like do i have to watch all the episodes mm-hmm. i don't know yeah but um, Jen has, as we start to unwind here with seven minutes to go before we head over to DillosDizResort.com, uh, the last of the photo ops. Yes. So uh, this was one of those we're tying up loose ends of things we haven't done. Why don't we have a photo with Melissa Joan Hart? What? Um, mm-hmm. Now, uh, so Disney Channel... <laughs> There's a documentary released this week, so I'm going oh. to be very careful with my oh. words. Um, Disney Channel was more of our channel. However, we did dabble in the Nickelodeon and the mm-hmm. and when mm-hmm. Snick started and all that. So we were very big Clarissa people from Nickelodeon. We were also very big Kids Incorporated people as well. Um, but I was like, you know what? Melissa Joan Hart on the orange couch. I think that's an iconic photo. And I think we need it. So there we are. Now... Um, I think had there been only one of us there, we probably would have done a cool back to back. She was doing some cool poses with people. And then we got there and we're like, we're not doing a cool pose. We don't know what to do with ourselves. <laughs> yeah. I was like, I'm going to lounge on the couch. I don't know. Right. What are we doing in this picture? I'm trying we're not to have the yes. That's all I'm doing. Yeah. That's how, I lay on a, that's how I sit on the couch. I think yeah. You know, I know. I'm, I'm sure most of Joan Hart is half scared. I'm trying to put my arm around her. But <laughs> if I had to guess. Yeah, but um, yeah, I mean, well, what was really funny, so they have this couch out. We had took photos on it um, the first year, and then, but they have it out, uh, they had it out last year and this year as well. But we got to see the carrying of the sofa into the photo op area, which was fun because we were like, yeah. is it the same orange couch? Do you go over there? Do they bring it in here? Is there another orange couch that they have as a backup? What happens? So we got to see the ceremonial carrying of the orange couch um, over. So that was that was fun. Yeah. And then uh, and what was good this year and and we Jen and I talked about this throughout the day is you know, we're, we're so fascinated by the business model of the mm-hmm. Yes. And and what determines uh, how many tickets are being sold, how many VIP passes are being sold like and because we felt last year, the second year was felt insanely busy. Yes. On the Saturday. Mm-hmm. In the best possible way. It was just it was like, whoa, this place is hopping. Yes. This year I, I don't want it to sound like a negative, did not feel insanely busy, but there yeah. were a lot of I mean, everything we went to seemed crowded. Yes. Mm-hmm. So I don't know if they figured out the model or we're going to put this panel here and this over here and we're going to have, I don't, I don't know what it was, but it did. It, and it was a lot felt a lot less uh, overwhelming. Yeah. Mm-hmm. This year compared yeah. to, to last year, but I don't know if, uh, you know, if you've thought about that part of it more. 
Yeah, I mean, it, it is true. Did they did they take take a page from like Disney's book on where you're moving crowds at certain times of the day? Maybe. Um, mm-hmm. And you wonder. I felt like there were more vendors than other years. So you you wonder if maybe people right. are on that side too and they're kind of exploring everything. Are people there all three days or for the weekend? So maybe they're doing half a day and half a day. I mm-hmm. think when we were online for the Melissa photo, again, first names, um, I think someone behind me said, this is the longest I've ever stayed at a con. Normally mm-hmm. I just come in and like get a couple of things and then I leave. So right. if people are... Uh, are con goers <laughs> con <laughs> frequenters they mm-hmm. might have a certain system and to us we're like well we're just here all day i don't know but they did have the after party that night too so you wonder if some people left at a certain point and they were going back to the party or maybe they were coming back the next day um yeah i'm not sure but yeah it did it did feel a little lighter um i did also want to mention that we got to finally meet a few friends that we have known virtually over the years Mm -hmm. and uh you know have talked to and communicated with and you know maybe one is in the chat right now maybe maybe um but (laughs) but i i loved that we finally got to meet up with friends that we Mm -hmm. have only spoken to over a computer screen or a phone screen Mm -hmm. whether it was in a call like this or it was um just leaving messages on posts of each other whatever it is but that kind of like added an element for me this year too because you know we've kind of had those experiences in disney at this point so it was cool that it's expanding to 90s con as well so that was great well, and then, and you know, as we were having those discussions, the oh, the '90s con in Florida this year is the same weekend as the Walt Disney World meetup that we are having. Curiouser and curiouser. <laughs> Mrs. Dillo today was like, "How long is your meetup trip?" And I was like, "Well, <laughs> it depends." Have we made specific plans. <laughs> Like, cause there's we're hearing different things that are going on, mm-hmm. and there's things we want to do, but yeah. Uh, so I, I thought that was amusing. As and there well. are these like, ticket oh. deals happening. We don't know. We don't know. <laughs> so many things that are happening. Yeah. Uh, but you know, I think uh, long story short is uh, for '90s Con this year is as we look towards uh, whether it be in September, uh, uh, but looking towards next year. Uh, and and granted, Jen and I said this last year. I, I, we I, the big hook of the first year and the second year with the MMC and 90210 were like no brainers. Yeah. We didn't get that big hook this year, which yeah. gave us these opportunities, which were awesome, and we loved them, uh, and just were so great. Even again, I think the Boy Meets World stuff is just really great, just in terms of the the story of them yeah. at this convention mm-hmm. uh so i really enjoyed meeting them because yeah. it, especially here in, in as it peaked uh this year more so than ever yeah. um but I, I i'm gonna need the hook next year yeah I need, I need a big hook yeah i'm just gonna share some photos as you continue to talk as well yeah. just some extra random like you know american pie came out in 1999 oh, you want you, you want to give me an american pie <laughs> angle next year i'm there Yes, you know, there, I think there's a, a couple of of ways it could go. Yeah, that, uh, yeah. I thought of another happen. one again the other day. I was like, "Oh man, what about this show?" <laughs> I don't remember <laughs> what it was, but those moments keep happening for me where I start uh, thinking about who you talking to, who you who you. What about how these lockers are the color of our high school lockers? By it the was, way, it was weird. Yeah. What, what was uh, your What was your combo? What What combo? What? Your lock. You don't know your lock? Oh. Uh, 17, 35, 25, I think. Mm-hmm. Yeah. yeah. I was uh, 8, 10, 16. Mm. Yeah. Yeah. Uh, I will say that uh, <laughs> this is, I, we're going to end this story. So I graduated <laughs> high school in the 90s, right? So yeah. it all it all ties together. So a couple of years after I graduated high school, I was at the school for whatever reasons. But mm-hmm. you, so like you do. Yeah. It's like well, I'm gonna go, I'm gonna go visit my locker, number 2734. Sure. So uh I go up to the English hallway there, I go to my locker. I'm like, let's see, let's see what I could do here. 1735, <laughs> 25. Boom, opened up the lock. I was like, ah, I didn't wait. sorry, I didn't mean to unlock the locker. Same what? locks, 
switch them up a little bit, would you? What? Like when was this? Was this? <laughs> this uh, it was like a couple of years after I graduated high school. The same lock was on my locker. That's funny. They don't. They didn't change them out back then. No, because I have a story. Because I was saying eight ten sixteen, and I'm like, let me not tell the rest of that story. But the rest of my story is that when I showed up first day of senior year of high school, again, our high school started in seventh grade, seventh to twelfth grade, same mm-hmm. locker, same high, same school, same hallways, same everything. I show up on my first day of senior year. I have no lock on my locker. Excuse me. Hi. Excuse me. Where's my lock? Oh. Well, oh, they must have thought you graduated. I didn't. I'm still here. Even though I wish I wasn't. I'm still here. <laughs> what do you, you have to get a new lock. A new lock? A, a 10 16. It lives in my head. What am I supposed to do at this point? So you did. So you had a different combo your senior year, but you remember. Yes. The one I have you... no idea what that one was because oh, a 10 16. <laughs> The rest of the time. Uh, that's crazy. I, I don't know what's been going on outside my New York City apartment this hour, but uh, there's just a whole I feel like there's a street party going on. There's oh. cars and beeping and and will you be live from the party out uh, at delosesresort.com in a few minutes? I could be, but <laughs> uh, I feel like we're doing these uh, uh Delos Pop episodes monthly at this point. The last yeah. one we did was we'll in call February. It monthly. We'll call it monthly. We did the Billy Joel song uh, last month for Delos yeah. Pop. But uh, good to talk about 90s con here. What we're going to do is take it over to DelosDizResort.com. And I will say, because it's Delos Madness related, you can go and click join for free right now and watch that live stream tonight because it's Delos Madness related. So uh, that is where we're headed. uh, As people I see jumping off already to try to be the first one (laughs) at DelosDizResort.com. But thanks for this. This was a great chat tonight here. on our YouTube channel. Don't forget to like and subscribe and tell your friends. I think you're all subscribed, but like <laughs> and ring the bell. I don't know. Do people yeah, ring the bell think. still? Share. I don't know. Maybe, Maybe. Share, it. Yeah. share it. Yeah. Tell your friends that we talked yeah. about 90s con here today. And um, we'll see you over at DillosDizResort.com. Until next time, she's Jen and I'm Frank. Bye bye. Deuces.